Good. Good. Good to see you. So good to see you. First off, I want to say I've been covering the show for three seasons now. It is always a pleasure to speak with all of you. Nathan, I want to start with you. This season is basically being advertised as the season of Cruddy. No spoilers, but I'm curious, was their relationship something that was always meant to be explored in this revival? And how do you feel about how it's being done? I think that was pretty unavoidable. I mean, that was such a quintessential part of what the old show was. I think we would have been remiss not to bring that up and explore that because that's one of the things that the fans wanted to see. And so much of the show is built around the idea of what do the fans want? So we're doing our best this season to deliver that uh, literally in every way that we could think of. Jaden, Jerry, Lacey, what can you tell me about your characters this season? What can we expect? And was there something you're most excited for fans to see? We're hotter than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think for my character, she has a bit of growth, like at the end of the season, which I'm really proud to see with Millicent, because um, we definitely explored that. And I believe it was like season one, um, when it was that Romeo and Juliet episode, and we really dove into, you know, her mother and, you know, the family struggles that she had to go through. Um, so I'm I'm really glad that Millicent kind of gets more on that relatable side so that, you know, kids my age or even adults going through the same thing can see Millicent and be like, you know what, I get that. And Harper is just going to be deeply unserious. Uh, a lot of weird accents, a lot of running around doing goofy, fun things. Mm, but a new, a new awesome relationship, too. We have some fun as well. That's um, right. <laughs> Okay, tell me about that. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I expected. <laughs> I'm ready for it. Every time you guys share the screen, so much fun. And I want to give you like a creative question. I'm curious for each of your individual characters, which show do you think they would want to see get a revival or a reboot? Uh, mm, it was Big Bang Theory was canceled, right? It was like done. It finished. Well, I think it, I ran, think it was just, yeah, like, just ran as cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they did Young Sheldon, which is a kind of a, so that one's already right. kind of had of. Yeah, I've had it. Yeah. Yeah. I personally really like Big Bang Theory. I feel like Millicent would love Same. To see that reboot. There's more story there. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think Freddie would be into uh, the IT crowd, the it crowd, just like a good old fashioned multicam sitcom with a bunch mm -hmm. of nerds who do IT. I take one on one back. I love Kyla Pratt. I want to see, you know, what she would be doing. Mm -hmm. I think Spencer would just want to see uh, Nickelodeon's pinwheel <laughs> over and over again. Or you can't do that on television. Hmm. Can you? <laughs> no, the show. What? You can't do that on television from Nickelodeon from from my youth. I'm incredibly oh. old. <laughs> you can't do that on television. Yeah, I that's love where that. the slime came from. There was if they said I don't know, they would get slime. And I knew that because I know my Nickelodeon. Well, history. there we go. I know. And each of your characters, <laughs> each of your characters, if you could pick a song to describe what's going on in their life right now in season three, what would it be? Mm. Oh wow! <laughs> Maybe the one that literally goes, "What's going on?" Just that one over and over and over again because it's just very confusing and there's a lot of things happening. It's very, it's a lot. It's hectic. For Poor Freddie this season. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but now I'm trying to figure out what song that yeah. is. It's not Sunday. Yeah. 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 Is it just called yeah. "What's no, Going it's On"? What's happening? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> pretty sure it's called "What's Happening." Knows this music. Like, Born on blondes. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I guess I will go with um, uh, "Sweetest Pie" by Alipa. <laughs> by Dua Lipa. <laughs> That's a good one. Think that what you will. I don't know. Is there a song about being a complete moron? <laughs> oh my God. Because um, that would be the song. I feel like mm, that oh, is Spencer. Really come hey, on, rock star. Hey, dad, you're rest. And that they say they get dumbers. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Rock. We know music. I like <laughs> you. All again. star by I Smash did. Mouth is Spencer oh, Shay's. There uh, is. Perfect. Yes. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> All star. And Jaden, what about you? We didn't forget you. Let's go. What's your um, um Dang, I was hoping you'd forget. You do have been Wow. Um, I don't honestly know. I'm trying to think. I listen to music like all the time. That's like I listen to it throughout the day. Yeah. Um, I think one of my favorite songs right now is "See You Again" by um Tyler the Creator and Callie Uches. 
Um, I really like that song. I don't know if that describes what Millicent's going through, but that song is great. So, <laughs> God, so, so listen, there we go. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you all so much for your time. It's always a pleasure speaking with you guys, and I can't wait to see the rest of the season. Yes, you good too. to see Thanks you again. Good to see you. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, I know. I'm ready. Ready, ready, right. ready. Let's go. It's you and us now. <laughs> Fanboys, professional artists, and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard knock life.